is the Quad 4 Morning News. The pride of American whiskey and the pride of Scottish whiskey, ladies and gentlemen. We have them both here. So what's the difference between the two? Do they really taste different? And we're going to spend extensive time trying to find out the differences. They're made differently. They taste differently. We'll tell you why coming up on Cron 4 News Weekend. What a privilege, ladies and gentlemen. Two of the stars of Whiskey Fest 2010, which took place in San Francisco yesterday. Jeff Arnett is the master distiller for Jack Daniels, yes. America's pride. And Richard Patterson is the master blender for Dalmore, single malt scotch. And they are joining us today because we want to talk a little about the differences between, uh, I guess, between Scott, between what? This is sour mash whiskey yep. and this is scotch whiskey. Uh, come on, join, uh, join us over here. So just for starters, Jeff. Okay. How do you, what's the difference between a sour mash and a regular whiskey? Well, a, a sour mash whiskey will use a setback in the fermentation process. So when we distill... Well, I've had some setbacks in my yeah. fermentation, but what does that mean? <laughs> well, what it means is that when we distill one fermenter, uh, we will recycle a, a portion of it back into a new fermenter so that it kind of keeps everything related. Uh, it, it lowers the pH, so it's called a sour mashing process. So it's almost a little like a, uh, uh, like a soup stock where you just keep running. It is. It's kind of like back setting. Yeah. Uh, from a, from a starter for sourdough. Okay, so then you put in good water, corn, barley, rye. Yep, we have a, a cave spring that flows on our property that's uh, iron free, but very mineral rich because it flows through limestone. Uh, because we're an American whiskey, we have a high corn content, so that's the biggest portion of our grains. Mm -hmm. We use malted barley and rye, and the mix of those grains is unique to us, and it provides a unique flavor for Jack Daniels. Um, at that point in our process, a lot of people are confused about a bourbon versus a Tennessee whiskey. Through that I know portion, it's constantly a source of confusion to me. <laughs> I, we, we have to correct people because we get called a bourbon a lot. But okay. I, actually, at that part of our process, Jack Daniels is a bourbon. But you put it through charcoal. We do. We go through 10 feet of hard sugar maple charcoal, and that makes it become a Tennessee whiskey. And you can tell in the glasses there how distinctly different they are. There's a definite uh, grain identity. By looking um, at them or by tasting? Just by smelling or tasting. Oh, smelling, okay. smelling will tell you a lot. You can definitely smell the corn. And then you oh, can't yeah, that is, that is highly, here, <laughs> they, they call Richard the, the uh, nose, by the way. The, the people who've studied charcoal mellowing say that eventually that the removal of that grainy edge happens in the barrel, but it takes about two years right. to happen, and we do it in days. Now, here's what's mellowing. interesting. Then it goes into barrels that are charred. Yeah. And this is one of the unique distinction of American whiskeys and bourbons versus scotch is that by class and type, we have to use a brand new barrel. So right. it'll have to be a new charred oak barrel. We can use it one time, and then, of course, we pass it on to our friends in Scotland to use Use it so that's however they that's very it. interesting so, so they synergistic, get very synergistic relationship <laughs> so after you're finished with the barrel it goes to Richard's folks yep. and Richard what's the process for you well this is uh, Dalmore from a single distillery that's one distillery one distillery only like in Tennessee there are now three distilleries but in Scotland we have 106 distilleries and all the whiskey for a single malt has to come exactly from that distillery we take that lovely wood that Jeff's talking about American white oak we take two barrels per tree we obviously mature our whiskey now, I'm really shocked though at the tiny tiny portions that you distill I mean, is that the <laughs> largest <laughs> barrel that you you guys can come up that, with. That, that's a problem. <laughs> let's, 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 the barrel is about 200 liters or 53 okay. gallons. We, we, we actually, uh, for, for uh, Dalmore, we actually use not only 50% uh, American white oak, but we have sherry barrels, and they're 600 liters, and they give us that lovely rich color. So uh, that's different different scotches have used different types of barrels absolutely yes okay and this is really highlighted in this particular um, spirit here because this is actually very highly complex this is 18 years old remember we're using a hundred percent barley and of course we're using natural water mm. the distillery goes back to 1839 but what is so important is actually getting into the whiskey this is what we call a capita nosing glass and I always say if I ever see you holding a glass like this or nosing like this I'll kill you so <laughs> what you need to do is swirl it around you must get into the whiskey you put it on the carpet and then, <laughs> and then we get into it but remember keep it down there bring it up and say hello like a woman's perfume it'll have at least 26 different nuances coming in there because we mature this in american white oak port madeira masala cabernet sauvignon and methuselah sherry this methuselah sherry is 30 years old so as soon as you see it bring it up say hello how are you get into it and then it starts opening up okay now we have I believe 30 seconds for me to just do a taste of two different. Okay. 20 seconds, the producer says. She's already giving me a hard All time. Right. So okay, just take a little add water. water. Do you add and water to your. Uh, typically, no. Okay. Don't so need to I'm do that. Try our single barrel. Okay, versus so. His versus his. Single barrel? 
You should notice the vanilla and caramel notes that mm -hmm. come from Jack Daniels. Um, it'll have a nice uh, complexity to it. Very, Definitely very, they are tremendously different. Yes. With Jack Daniels, you should notice a nice vanilla caramel start, mm -hmm. a creamy center. Will always exit clean. What you got to do is keep the top of the mouth underneath the mouth. Keep it there. Keep it in the mouth for at least 20 seconds. Okay, so listen. The <laughs> producer says we have to go, so I cannot finish this tasting while we're on the air. Okay. We're going to uh, take a break. We've got the gardening segment coming up. In the meantime, I'm going to be at work here, ladies and gentlemen, detecting the differences between great American whiskey and great Scotch whiskey. We'll, uh, we'll report the results, I don't know, someday. Coming up on Cronford this weekend. <laughs>